because all good? Yep. This is low as my chair gets. Hello. Welcome to Anthus and Levento Creations. I am Anthus, aka Seth. And I'm Levintha, aka Puck, aka Eli. So today we decided to do something that we're very interested to see the results in. So uh, I usually cosplay Larry from Sally Face. And everybody probably recognizes me as Todd. Today, I'm gonna cosplay Todd. And I'm gonna cosplay Larry. So for this video, um, we're not gonna wear each other's clothes. We didn't bring any of that, but we have the wigs and we have our regular makeup. So we're just gonna be trying to do the makeup for these characters and put on the wigs and just kind of see what happens. It'll be very interesting, especially since like I'm wearing my sweater vest and my Goosebumps t shirt like button up. So I guess uh, Larry's gonna look very dapper today. There you go. And then Todd, I'm wearing like my it like slideshow <laughs> t shirt, like long sleeve shirt. So yes. yeah, Todd's gonna get that today. So we'll see how this turns out. This is definitely gonna be an interesting, interesting event. Um, it'll be neat to see how we do each other's cosplay slash makeup, considering like. How, what these characters mean to us and in my mind Seth is Larry so <laughs> and in my mind Puck is Todd so, so it'll yeah. in a way I feel like I'm gonna be cosplaying you and you're gonna be cosplaying me and that's gonna be <gasps> that's weird. a mood like, like exactly <laughs> like literally like I love Sally face yes but when I think about Todd, I just think about you. Yeah. So I feel like I'm gonna I put this on and your wig, and I'm just gonna be like, I'm. I just look like Puck. Like that's like, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much the way. The same way that I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm gonna put on Larry, and be like, <laughs> I'm Seth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo. Right, I have just taken off my eyebrows. No more eyebrows for me, except for these like little nubs that are kind of still there. Ugh. Probably as good as it's gonna get. No glasses, because Larry doesn't wear glasses. I'm actually gonna start by putting my hair back. It's actually a good point, is like, I typically don't wear wig caps when I start putting on makeup, but it's a really good idea to put on wig caps. I just don't. I'm putting on a wig cap. I also just stretched my gauges more today and I just touched it when I'm putting on my primer and that hurt really bad. <laughs> Ugh. Look like an egghead. Become one with the eggheads. Join us. I don't like it. Like right now since my hair on the side's super short, I have nothing to bobby pin it down to so it'll move on me shove a bunch of fucking foundation on my hand. That's one thing I love about our versions of our Sally Face characters is it's our versions. So your version of Todd wears a beanie. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Yeah, because Todd does not actually wear a beanie mm -hmm. in the game at all. Uh, and even though he is gay as fuck, he doesn't wear like half the shit that I do. I love Todd. Too, clearly. Yeah. I love Larry. I love just how chill Larry is about damn near everything. But I'm probably gonna have to pull up a reference. A picture of me or a picture of Larry? <laughs> I Probably a picture of you, honestly. Oh my god. What exactly about Larry are you like, hmm, I need to see? One, the mole. Oh, it's on his, uh, on his right side. Yeah, but two... The way that you do his eyebrows, I know, because the way that I do Todd's eyebrows is not, is, is very particular to me. Oh, I'm already like, fuck. <laughs> I've done the basic steps. Now what? You're already at contour and like finished contour and I just, like, I'm still working on like concealer? What the fuck? <laughs> what? I don't apply concealer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Oh, that's a bad mistake that I just did. I know you like hella contour with like a fluffy brush. I hella contour for Larry. 
and I'm like, I tried and it looks so bad right now. It's like I took a Crayola marker and just drew on my fucking face. Hey, I'm using setting powder. I was so excited to see your progress as Larry. <laughs> I'm not. That makes one of us. For right now, I'm like, God, I'm already fucking up. I'm already done. Fuck this. <laughs> what do you mean you're already done? You're on contour. When I say I'm done, I mean I'm like, huh, I'm not happy. Oh. Not that I am finished putting on makeup. Well, I didn't take it like that. I took it as you giving up. So. <laughs> Same. For anybody that's like, hmm, Seth's Larry looks better. I fucking know. What? I am so excited to see you as Larry. I, you have no idea. Uh, I'm excited for both of us to see each other as each other. <laughs> that makes fuck any fucking sense. One thing that I like that you do with Todd is you add a lot of freckles, no, so I'll probably crazy. end up doing that with mine. Does that look okay? A yeah, 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 that looks, that looks good. Oh, these are some skinny fucking eyebrows. No, Larry has some chonkers. He's got some chonkers. Uh, what makes you like Larry so much? Larry, while he is a character that really likes heavy metal and dark things, he has a very close relationship with his mother and he's just very in tune with his feelings, not afraid to say it. Exact like it's shown when he and Sal are watching a movie together. It's shown when he is willing to be like, I can't do this. I have to stay home and take care of my mom. She's sick. So he's a very personable. While at the same time loving heavy metal and doesn't care about his hair and willing to stick out for his friends and just yeah. Okay. Larry is your your comfort character. What about him, Meeks? him a comfort character for you specifically? I think a lot of it has to do with projection. Larry has the nose shape that I have so I feel comfortable cosplaying him because <laughs> I feel like my nose fits it. While I no longer necessarily identify with goth as a label, I've always felt very comforted by it. Mm -hmm. And he's just kind of like the style of a character that I really vibe with and due to projection and my own head cannons with him I've just kind of really grown close to him as a character what about you and Todd um uh one gay, gay. <laughs> one is gay two uh I like how you know at first he didn't believe in ghosts and but he cared enough about Sal that he was like, you know what? Sure, I'll give it a try. I'll help you out. I like that he's willing to help out his friends, even if he doesn't 100% agree or believe in it. It's the focus on helping his friends. Um, I'll, some of it has to do with creating things. I love. Clearly, I made like a Gear Boy. Like, I love to create things, so that has a lot to do with it as well. I'm not super tech savvy, but uh, I'm more tech savvy than some of the people I work with. Psst. Which isn't entirely saying much, but at the same time I'm like, hmm. I know that somebody, for example, commented on our new memories video and they were like, hey, I think Larry would have reacted the way that Todd did and Todd react the way that Larry did and we kind of talked about that one by one one on one and basically said like you know it's perfectly valid because you know the fictional characters they mm -hmm. can react however you feel like they would and you and I pretty much are like well in our versions of these characters we we fully believe that this is how they would, how they would react so why would you, for example, stand by why Todd would react more aggressively towards Travis, whereas I had Larry react more of defensively? Mm -hmm. um, so for me, my mentality is this is like long since after they've been to high school and everything. And firsthand experience, and then also seeing it, how people get bullied for being gay. Even 
with Todd being so comfortable being gay uh, and see, also seeing how like Travis treated Sally face without even knowing if he was truly gay I can imagine even though it wasn't hit upon or talked about I can definitely see Travis being an asshole and bullying the shit out of Todd because of how openly gay and comfortable being gay he is mm -hmm. and how it could make Todd question you know his comfort level like oh hey here's this person treating me like shit for being comfortable with who I am am I wrong to feel comfortable with who I am am I wrong to be as open as I am about it and that kind of like bringing some question into his mind and just bullying in general can leave such a lasting effect so that's why I could definitely see Todd responding the way that he did the way that I I, I as Todd responded because like hey here's this kid who probably bullied him through high school because once more Todd was open and out and he was somewhat comfortable with it and that shakes a lot of people it it makes people uncomfortable especially people who are currently closeted and having that person who potentially bullied you made fun of you for being you come into your safe space where you finally feel like you've you know you've gotten rid of all doubt it's like bringing that doubt back with you so in my mind I'm like here comes this reminder of the doubt that he felt and it kind of brings that doubt once more of the comfort not necessarily like oh am I gay kind of thing but more like am I wrong for being okay with who I am should I question who I am because here comes this person who treated me like shit for being me like characters like Todd chug and Mabel like they don't really see a lot of light in a lot of these situations mm -hmm. uh, because the game is focused on Sal and there are characters that will see the spotlight more and so it's one of those things where like just because you don't see in game doesn't mean it's not reasonable mm -hmm. right now I am trying to do heavy ass Todd eyebrows because I was looking at his character in the game and he's got some thick black brows and see that's something interesting because I actually never give him black brows yeah so talk a bit more about that <laughs> artistic liberties I give him brown brows one to go with more of like how my eyebrows are normally colored anyhow but also I like to give him red-ish brows just to match more with the wig hair. Yeah. Uh, and it's literally just like, I like the way it looks more. Yeah, you just like <laughs> That's more, it. So. I just like the way it looks. Yeah, I'm over here like trying to get my eyebrows to look decently even and fucking failing so bad. <laughs> Me still working on one eyebrow. Ha ha ha. <laughs> that is a dark ass fucking line. Oh my god, I. <laughs> you have Larry's face shape. Todd has a very round face, so I have Todd's face shape. I look like Larry! <laughs> right now, I look like I have dirt smeared on my face. Welcome to Larry Zone. Larry's eyebrows start looking rectangular. Uh, that one on this side. Looks like a triangle. It needs to look more like a box. And then how does this one look to you? Better. They look the same to no, me! No, they don't! That might be what- I, I don't know, that's, that's just my- Isosceles is a type of triangle though! Wait, what was that? I wasn't I think- no, isosceles- I was thinking of a- Isosceles- No, what's the shape I was thinking of? Fucking no! There's a shape that I was thinking of. Are you thinking of a parallelogram? No. Or a trapezoid? It wasn't a trapezoid. I know what a trapezoid looks like. It was something else. It's like a it's like a square, but if you did like this. T 
to the top and you just slant that's it. That's a parallelogram. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I fucking battery. Is always his gender fluid rates. Hell yes. Is always his gender fluid rates. <laughs> So I kind of feel like I'm done, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray setting spray on my face and then put on the wig and see how I feel, so... This is the end result. So I'm gonna start with how do you feel of uh, being Larry for the first time? I feel like an imposter. Um, as we've discussed, I feel like I have dirt on my face because of my makeup. <laughs> I can't get this. Are you living like Larry? <laughs> how do you feel as Todd? You know what? Uh, this is very comfortable. Um, I don't have a weave <laughs> everywhere on my shoulders and on my head and on my forehead and just absolutely everywhere. So this to me is a very comfortable <laughs> look for me. It's very comfortable, yeah. I, this makes me think of my Inuyasha wig. I also feel like I kind of look very feminine right now and I dislike it. Really? Because of the long hair? Maybe, maybe. Anyway, so I guess thank you so much for watching our content. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Tell us what you think about how we look because I'm interested to hear everybody else's opinion. Yeah. It's it's definitely one of those things where like, again, we associate ourselves with the characters and the characters with each other. So like, even though Seth is cosplaying Todd right now and they look great as Todd. At the same time, I'm like, but you're Larry. <laughs> yeah. Does that make sense? No, it does. Like, I look at you in my wig and I'm like, what? It's, it's like a weird <laughs> alternate reality type feeling. Yeah. I definitely feel that. Yeah. So, uh, I guess let us know what you think about this kind of video. If you're interested in more like it, like I know we both cosplay in Night in the Woods. That would be so weird to see you as B and me as May. That would be interesting. Yeah, and stuff like that. We have a lot Very more interesting. cosplay videos in the future of things that neither of us like have cosplayed the same character of. Um, other than that, I guess we just want to, you know, big hearts out. Thank you so much for watching our content and we hope that we can bring a smile to your day-to-day -day life and if you, of course, in any situation need someone to talk to, feel free to email us, catch yes, us on Instagram, and just any of that shit, so. Yep. And we, uh, with the holidays coming up, hope everybody is staying safe, socially distancing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also, you know, having a good time. It, spending time with your family if you enjoy spending time with your family if you enjoy if not we're your dads now yes we're we are your dads. dads it's more like Seth is probably the dad I'm more the uncle but still <laughs> okay I'm the uncle who you'll who you play hooky with like I'll I'll, I'll sneak you out of school and be like it's fine <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's fine, it's fine. fine. All right, so I guess we'll sign out now. So uh, have a great rest of your day or evening, morning, whatever the fuck time it is right now. So we'll see you in the next one. So bye. bye.